Hey guys, it's me, Tyra, also known as Becky Belt, and I'm back. So, I think I owe you a Q&A, right? <laughs> I know, I got kind of busy, so sorry for the delay, but I'm here now. I requested that you send me a few questions here, Twitter, and of course on Instagram, at the Becky Belt. So this is a few questions that I got. The first one is the most obvious one, so we'll start from that one. It's the one that I knew I would get. It's the one that I answer all the time, but it's one about my measurements, okay? So what are your measurements? 34 in, say it with me, 34 in, all natural, correct? Because someone asked that too. Are you all natural? I'm 100% all natural. I mean, I think you can tell, I think you can tell the difference, okay? I've touched enough of them to know you can kind of tell the difference. So <laughs> they're all natural, 34 in. My waist is about a 28 to 30, I'm not quite sure. My bottom is about a 38, 40. Not quite sure about that either. There's not too much, but I am a curvy girl, okay? I'm kind of curvy. My waist is kind of taken in, but <laughs> I'm a little, I'm curvy. So, yeah. But yeah, so the most important one is what size am I? I'm a 34N, and yes, they're all natural, okay? So next question. Do you like being busty? All right. This is a yes, used to be no question, but the yes is outweigh the no, so, you know. It used to be an issue with shopping for bras, okay? When I was a double H, things like that, for some reason, no one had like bras in my size. So I was probably about 19 or so, and that's when I realized like, wait, my boobs are much bigger than like other women, because I would go to a store and nothing would be in there now and i've actually like grown tremendously over the past like few years they just won't stop growing it's actually easier for me to find bras and that's almost crazy as well maybe it's because someone has realized that there are plenty of busty women out there or maybe they had me in mind you know but it's much easier now to find bras so i do enjoy being busty now Sometimes I do like the attention, you know, it's always pretty respectful and I think I'm a great hugger, you know, I give great hugs. <laughs> yeah, and I mean, you know, I mean, it doesn't hurt to have these. It doesn't hurt anything, you know, not even my back, <laughs> luckily. So, yeah, I don't have any issues. I do like being busty and thank you. Now, anywhere overseas you would like to visit? I would like to visit Japan. That is a dream trip of mine, to go to Japan one day. You know, unfortunately now it's been delayed, but hopefully in the next few years, I can actually, since I have more planning time, I can plan that trip over to Japan for a couple weeks. Now, how tall are you? I get this question a lot now. I think I may look my height. I'm not sure, but most people say I look a little taller. I have long arms. So I think that's what does it. Like my arms are extremely long and my legs, you know, my legs are kind of long, but I'm five foot three is what I am. I'm five three. So yeah, five three. No taller, sorry if you wanted me to be taller. I do wear heels sometimes, wedges. Not so, not so much in my pictures, but I do wear heels sometimes. All right, one wish, what would it be? Now they're referring to curing cancer, homelessness, things like that. I would say I would want it all to go away. That's my one wish. <laughs> that is all a level playing field. So that's my one wish. I don't wanna go too deep, but yeah, that's my one wish. Um, let's see what's next. This is an interesting one. Which cup are you grabbing? Now, I'm not sure if you know about this. Everyone doesn't know about it. I've never personally experienced this at a party, but apparently when you go to some house parties and things like that, 
they'll have like colorful cups. You are to choose the cup that corresponds with your relationship status. Now, you can kind of Google it and you know, I don't know if you're interested in this, but yeah. So, oh, the light went out. <laughs> okay, so first one is pink, that means taken. Second one is purple, DTF. If you don't know what DTF is, you can Google it. We're all adults, hopefully. And light blue is single AF. Google that acronym as well. And we have lime green. It's complicated. Now, I don't see a red cup here. Red cup is neutral. Red cup is whatever I want to be. And I would take the pink cup as well. So I take a taken cup and I would take a red cup and I put it inside because that's like taken, but you know. <laughs> but it makes you wonder when you do go to a party, do people actually get the cups that correspond with what the relationship status is? Or, I mean, I'm sure DTF, obviously, you know, if you're gonna grab that cup, that's what you're there for, a single AF. But it's complicated. Imagine going to a party and you don't wanna be bothered, especially as a female, like, you don't wanna be bothered. I would honestly grab a lime green cup. Now taken sometimes, I mean, some people don't care. You're at a party right now, you're drinking, they don't really care, they'll still hit on you. But it's complicated. To me, that's like drama. Because if you're willing to like tell everyone that like it's complicated, to me that's just like drama. I don't like it's complicated. That just sounds like chaos. I would completely stay away. So if you see a girl with a green cup, maybe you should approach her anyway, because she may not really be, you know, she may just want you to stay away, but say something to her anyway, just make it interesting. <laughs> but that was a, that was a good question. Um, favorite food. My favorite food would be salmon. I love salmon, smoked salmon, baked salmon, especially smoked though. I love salmon. That's like my favorite. My second one will probably be Mexican. I do like Mexican. I had Mexican tonight. I do like Mexican food. But yes, yeah, salmon will be the first. And then Mexican will be the second. Authentic Mexican food, though. Don't take me to TV, you know, Taco Bell. So, you know, nothing against it. I just don't want it. So, yeah, but I do love Mexican food. All right. And I believe that's it. And I was just like, oh, what, when did you start growing? I think I already answered that one, but I started growing pretty early, but maybe like at the age of 16 or so, I kind of realized, hey, you know, like these things are growing and then plus some attention that I would get, you know, and I'd just be like, they're boobs, like let it go, but by the time I was 16, I realized that they're really growing. When I was 19, again, like I said, it was just like, okay, this is out of hand. But believe it or not, at one time, I actually considered having a reduction. I'm glad I didn't do that. So, yeah. I mean, if it's not broken, don't fix it, right? If it's not broke, don't fix it. Leave it alone. So, I left it alone. Yeah, and I believe the doctor told me that as well. <laughs> so, I left it alone and thank goodness for that because I probably wouldn't be sitting right here right now. So, yeah. But those are all the questions. Thank you for sending them. If you have any more questions, just answer or, I mean, sorry, <laughs> leave the questions in the comment box, okay? And I'll answer them for you. If you have any comments, leave that as well, you know whatever you can hit me up on instagram at the becky belt or join my only fans onlyfans.com slash tyra becky belt okay i'll put the info in the comment section but i look forward to connecting with you again and we'll see what else i can come up with because i do want to keep things pretty interesting for you guys i thought a q a would be sort of interesting though you know you can learn a little more about me because some people just don't know so thank you bye